With the silence and the fury, the Beastman factions in Total War Warhammer 2 are getting an overhaul. Part man, part beast, all chaos, the Beastmen want to bring ruination to all of civilization, all for the glory of the Chaos Gods. Whether you've never played with the Beastmen before or you spend your days raising Middenland, this primer will get you up to speed on all the unique mechanics this race has to offer. Using their unique set of movement stances, the Beastmen are the ultimate guerrilla fighters. With the Beastmen ambush stance, the Beastmen have a chance to ambush any army it attacks. They can then use the well-hidden encampment stance to hide from any would-be attackers. Using the beast paths, even mountains cannot stop their armies. The combination of these stances make the Beastmen a scary force to have as an enemy within your lands. Beastmen hordes are unlike any other, being able to erect herd stones in enemy settlements from where additional armies can be amassed and offerings to their dark gods can be presented, all of which forms their blood ground from which they cause further devastation. The horde grows through bestial rage. If the horde stays stagnant, the bestial rage subsides and the growth lowers with it. Fight battles to increase the rage and raid the land to keep it from subsiding. The amount of hearthstones we can erect is limited to our hearthstone shards. When starting out we are limited to one hearthstone shard, but as the campaign progresses we can gain more. After defeating a settlement we have the option to use that hearthstone shard to erect a hearthstone. This establishes a blood ground as indicated by this red area. Battles won and settlements raised within the blood ground will cause devastation. Once we reach a minimum of 10 devastation, we can perform a ritual of ruin to gain marks of ruination. Gathering marks of ruination will progress our primary campaign mechanic and allow us bonuses from Rewards of Dread. With Rewards of Dread, we can spend our second currency, Dread, to expand our unit and hero capacity, recruit new legendary lords, and upgrade our hordes and herdstones. We accumulate Dread by doing what the Beastmen do best, fighting by winning battles and raising settlements. Our third and final resource is Favor. The Beastmen abhor civilization and therefore has no use for gold. Instead, they thrive on the favor of the Chaos Gods. One of the biggest strengths of the Beastmen roster is that they do not have any upkeep and instead are limited by unit caps. Which is good because your favor income is going to be sporadic. You can get some from buildings, but your primary source is going to once again be to do what the Beastmen do best, winning fights. Excess favor can also be spent within Rewards of Dread to gain powerful items and ancillaries for your lords and heroes, making them even more powerful on the field. Research works very differently for the Beastmen factions. Here they are called Challenges of the Dark Gods, and they are just that. You need to complete various challenges like winning a certain number of ambush battles, erecting herd stones, or killing faction leaders to unlock the research options. It is advised that you go through these to lay out your plans and complete as many of the challenges the Dark Gods have laid out for you as possible. This update will come alongside the release of The Silence and the Fury and will be available in the Eye of the Vortex and in Mortal Empires for those who own Total War Warhammer. If it wasn't apparent, when playing as the Beastman, you want to try and fight as much as possible, since that is your primary source of income. Sitting around will only allow your enemies to become stronger, making it harder to progress. This rampage is especially important to the new legendary Lord Torox, the Brass Bull, but we'll cover his unique mechanics another time. Hopefully you're now ready to bring devastation to all the mortal races of the old world and the new. All in the glory of the Chaos Gods.